Hi guys, Mrs. Gallagher here. Um, I'm going to be starting a series of bucket drumming courses for you. So you can see I did find a Lowe's paint bucket that I use to store like cords in and stuff in my garage. So um, check with your parents. Maybe you have something like a bucket. If you don't, you can really get creative. Um, I've got over here like a box that would use I could use just as well. Um, there's a whole bunch of different different things you could use, a metal trash can turned around, um, a plastic trash can, lots of stuff like that. The little ones you see like in your bathrooms. I'll try and do it on a different, um, a different type of drum each time I do a video for you. So, um, as you can see also, you do not need drumsticks. I don't have drumsticks at home. Um, because I was on maternity leave, I didn't bring a lot of that stuff home that I normally would. So I have two spatulas for you. So what I'm going to do first is talk about proper hand position for holding your sticks. And what we're going to do is put them into a pizza shape with the tops of our hand to the tops of the ceiling. So what a lot of people do wrong when they're playing drums is they put their thumbs to the sky like this. Um, so what we want to do, you can start with your thumbs um, about a third of the way from the bottom of whatever you're using, in my case a spatula, um, and then rotate your hand so that you make a pizza. So you can put your thumbs up, then rotate to make a pizza shape or a V. Um, from there, we're going to be starting always with our right hand, which is this one for me, but I believe you're going to see it as this one. So I'm going to do it opposite. So I want you to mirror what I do. So you're going to start with this hand. Um, we're going to start with a basic, uh, basic beat, exploring some different types of the drums. So the first thing we can do is just talk about, um, top sound is like this, sides. Uh, we also use the rim, which would be the edge of this. So if you don't have something like that, just hit it on the top. And also a lot of times we click the sticks together. So those are the different sections we're going to use of this drum. Um, now I'm going to explore two of those in, in our first rhythm, which is going to sound like this. One, two, ready, go. So what I'm doing there is I'm starting with my right hand, right, left, right, sides, and I'm using both hands on the sides. So let's do that slow. One, two, start with your right, right, left, right, sides, right, left, right, sides, right, left, right, sides, right, left, right, sides. One thing I'll mention too is that you don't need to have the stick way up here going like this. That's how you get bad technique. Um, and bad hand posture. So what I want you to do is keep your sticks real close to the drum or whatever you're using um, and try. We're going to do eight in a row, which is the general succession that we do. We go one, two, start with your right. That's part one of what we're doing. Um, I'll bring you part two shortly.